because, you know, in full transparency, I get sent so many amazing products, right? And some of them are really wonderful. But when I read the ingredients, I'm like, no way, I'm not putting this on my skin. And I think when I met you and started to learn about Hue and Grace and not just what it was, but more importantly, what it wasn't, you know, it was, was really the attraction for me. And I think with Hue and Grace, it was sort of like, okay, not only is it hormone safe, not only does it protect my skin from the billion chemicals out there that are damaging all of us while we sleep and while we talk and while we walk and we don't know it, but it's sort of like, why wouldn't you use it? Right. Why it's, it's, I have, I have sent it to so many people in my life. I've used it on my children. You know, Roger uses it. When I met you like, oh, wait, I don't really use bar soap. I'm not really a bar soap person. And that bar soap sits in my shower, sits in my sink. And I, I use it like crazy. And my whole family uses it, you know? And in fact, I didn't even tell you this. Um, I won't say a name, but a certain member of my family might be a nephew who is, you know, in early twenties as you know, there's hormones, there's acne, there's skin things and whatever The the soap has been like a savior for him, a savior for him. And I've heard that from so many people, men, women, teens of all ages. It's hard because I really love the night serum because I really like, I don't have a lot of time for me, pretty much none. So I really like to put the night serum on because it feels like just before bed and I embarrassingly go to bed at ungodly hours for no reason at all, other than that I'm holding on to my alone time. I'll just randomly on a Monday night, go to bed at two only to wake up at 5:45. It's completely ridiculous, but I do like, no matter what time of night it is, I like just putting that on and just being like, yes. <laughs> like, it's just like, feel it. And then, you know, and you kind of feel that kind of dewy hydration and then more importantly, I actually love when I wake up in the morning, even though it's like four hours later. Um, I really do love that feeling when I wake up, my skin feels hydrated, but kind of tighter. And just, it feels like something happened while I was sleeping. I really love the face serum or the body oil because I use it on my kids as well. And as we've talked about, my older son is like eczema on his ankles and his legs and it's it was very healing for that. And so I think any product that I can use, you know, on everybody is lovely. <laughs> just think you and Grace is, is just very unique. And I think it, it caused me to want to really understand more the things that weren't hormone safe and like <laughs> what that actually meant, you know, and, and how that is very detrimental to us, especially as women, you know, and at all ages. It's not like a menopause thing. It's not a pregnancy thing. It's a, it's an all age thing. And I think that to me was sort of the biggest learning and the biggest differentiator in Hue and Grace and everything else out there. For me, and I think part of the magic of Hue and Grace and the business model is like anyone out there, men or women can start, be advocates for the brand and, and you're in charge of your own destiny. And that's such a cool thing. It's like, as hard as you work, as aggressive as you are, I don't want to say aggressive because it sounds negative, but as persistent and um, excited you are about the brand, like you're really in control of your success. And that is a very rare, unique opportunity and situation that I believe Hue and Grace is providing um, for women all over the country. It's amazing. <laughs> yes. And, um, and, and very excited to do so. You know, it wasn't really a, a, a hesitation at all it wasn't a huge internal discussion. We really were so impressed and impressed with obviously both of you and, and how genuine, you know, the story is and why you started it, of course. And, and I think anyone who hears that wants to become a consumer or an advocate. Right. And um, you know, and I just think it sets you apart. And I think being an investor and advisor, I mean, it was, for me, it was just a very natural um, thing to become a part of, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't like break my arm. It was like, how do I sign up? <laughs>